and let me share with you that um personally I finished my N levels and I'm gonna share with you my path, my um my whole year journey with you guys and for me to like um to think about what I have done that this year is so memorable. So firstly I'm just gonna tell you that if you are taking N level like next year or this year I don't know but probably you watch it next year and you are taking N level this year I'm gonna tell you that N level is so simple like legit you can just do it last minute and you can get your colorful results I'm not sure whether it's all colorful in red pants or yeah but it's just very simple like honestly I didn't okay I'm not an academic person I mean I don't put a lot of effort in academic and I just do last minute and I'm guilty of it but still I think my results are not too bad right so I'm gonna share with you that N level is not difficult firstly and it's very difficult to fail to retain and whatsoever what you're thinking about but it's good that you can score well I mean it's easy to get A1 like if you do it consistently and this is my biggest mistake that I didn't do consistent work and because I personally is not an organized person so my pencil case is just pen and red pen green pen blue pen that's all and some highlighters that I'm not an organized person I don't have like different files and found neatly and everything I use a lot of social medias I just obsess with phones and I am guilty of it I wish that this year I can I mean I wish that I can do well in my end level but I didn't really do a lot because there is a lot of distraction for me so this is my biggest regret and I have learned it so life's gonna move on so yeah but I'm just gonna share with you that N level is simple but if you want to go into like PFP it is also simple if you put it consistent work like you just force yourself every single day go to the library and study it is not an issue so just don't stress out I mean you get stressed because you do last minute work you cram everything inside your head so you are stressed but if you are consistent it will not matter so my first thing is that okay if you are doing N level next year 2018 I suggest that you should start it now like yeah you just do all your notes and make it as colorful as possible and all the things you need to study beforehand or else teacher won't explain to you and the day before exam you will just study the notes and it's not gonna help you you are going to bring the midnight oil like you're going to burn the midnight oil like for me and level I was so freaking stressed up like seriously I am so afraid that I can't get my A1s like the day before I just didn't sleep I on the light even though I am so freaking tired and I just sleep and after that I wake up at like 2 p.m. and study again and until 4 p.m. I sleep again I was so stressed out don't be like me it's freaking unhealthy so yeah you need to be organized and timetable I think it wouldn't help for me personally because I have done, done like thousands of timetable and I didn't follow like once I didn't follow and the whole thing would be like messed up and then you would throw away the timetable and you would write it again and I didn't follow like what the fuck so yeah I just don't follow timetable but you should discipline yourself like okay if you discipline yourself it is going to help you like for example if you can give your phone to your parents and you will freaking discipline yourself 
try not to listen to music when you're studying because it will freaking disturb you like yeah like if you are listening to vocal stuff you will start singing and you will not have the mood and you get excited and you just throw away your books one side this is not gonna happen if you I don't know. But if you're going to listen non-vocal music, like classical music, like orchestra, etc. So, it is also not gonna help you. Because when you're listening to music, your phone is just beside you. And you are gonna not discipline yourself. And you're gonna use your phone. And one hour has passed. And you're gonna eat and whatsoever. So, um, the rightful place to study, of course, I would say is not home. It is the library. Yeah, it is so quiet and everyone is studying. And you, when you see them studying, you will also study. Yeah, so be consistent and revise in the library. Um, at other places like McDonald's or whatever, but... I think the library is still the best place for me to study, to be disciplined. So yeah. So uh, um, just don't get stressed out. I mean, don't do last minute work. D just be consistent. And the day before exam, just please sleep well. Don't make any careless mistake. You're going to lose a lot of unnecessary marks. Like, you know how to do. But in the day of exam, you just can't focus and all the things you just freak out this is not good and and for me I didn't sleep well before the exam and my mind can't process and after I came out of the examination hall I was like oh I sh I know this this question but just that I can't remember a few days ago I rem I studied this thing and yeah I just can't remember because your mind is not progressing, it's too tired and you can't function, which is not what we want. Um, yeah, and N level is yeah, just gonna say it is easy, you can do last minute work but don't stress your mind so much. Um yeah, so next year I'm gonna plan to do like O levels and well just share with you guys this N level tough journey. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. I know this is not very informative, but anyway, maybe you know some how we and level students feel, feel, and yeah, I don't have much saliva, I'm so sorry. Bye guys.